Okay, let's continue. 9.3 normal distribution. Okay. In normal distribution, okay, normal distribution is a continuous property distribution. So the learning outcomes, students should know how to identify the normal distribution. And then students should know how to standardize the normal random variable. Then find the probability by using normal distribution. Use the normal distribution to solve problems related to economic and business. And also use the continuity corrections in order to solve binomial problem using normal distribution approximation. Okay, normal distribution. So the normal distribution is one of the most important distribution in statistics. If a continuous random variable x has a normal distribution with mean, mean and standard deviation, then we write x is a normal distribution with mean and standard uh, and variance. So this is a bell shape and the standard deviation and has mean. Okay, and then the normal probability distribution when plotted give a bell shaped curve with the following characteristic. So the total area under the curve is 1 and the curve is symmetric about the mean and the two tails of the curve extend indefinitely. Okay, standard normal distribution. So the normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 is called the standard normal distribution. Okay, so the Z values or Z score are the units marked on the horizontal axis of the standard normal curve. So the continuous random variable Z is used to represent the standard normal random variable Z when Z normal where mean equals to 0 and standard deviation equals to 1. To standardize the normal random variable X to standard normal random variable Z, the following formula is used Z equals to X minus mean divided by standard deviation when, where there is a symbol of mean and standard deviation. And then the standard normal table can be used to find the area under the standard normal curve probability and the table that will be used in this topic is more than or equal standard normal table and bz greater than and equal to z so let's do this example so if z is a normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 so find a B Z greater than 1.2. We want to find the probability of normal distribution. We need to sketch the bell shape so that we can find the area under this bell shape where it is equals to the probability of normal distribution. So in the middle we got z equals to zero. So here at your right, which is when you read the number line, you know that here we got one, two, three, and before zero we got negative one, negative two, negative three, which is negative number. So it is equals to the uh, number on this line so we got positive number is here and negative number is here that is represent the z value for a we have p z greater than 1.2 okay so if we look at the bell shape so we know that in the middle is zero so at this part is positive number and at this part is negative number okay so 1.2 is positive so means that it is 1.2 here so we can just estimate 1.2 is here there's no equal sign so it is dotted line and z greater than means that this is the area of Z. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to find this area in order to get the probability. So if we look at the table, so we can directly read from the normal distribution table. So we will get 0 0.1151. So, this equals to 0 0.1151. So, direct we read from the table, normal table. Okay, B, B, Z, great, less than 1.2. E, the question asks to find P, Z, less than 1.2. So, when we put into the bell shape, we know that 1.2 is here. But because of there is no equal, so you just put there dotted line and less than so the area is equals to the probability but in the table we cannot read from the less than so we read greater than or more than so we need to take because of if we put if we sketch all this area it means equals to 1 and if we shade it only half means that 0 0.5 so that's why when you read the table when pz greater than 0 so you will get 0 0.5 so to get z less than 1.2 so we need to take 1 minus pz greater than 1.2 so we will get 1 minus 0 0.1151 and equals to 0 0.8849 so it's equals to 1 minus pz greater than 1.2 so we will get 0 0.8849 so this is the remarkable so where you read when it is e greater than or greater than and equals to so the symbol does not matter since it is normal distribution and there is a continuous random variable the property of normal distribution always equals to the area under the bell shape and always in positive value c z less than negative 1.85 so which is equals to p z greater than 1.85 so equals to 0 0.0322 C, we need to find PZ less than one, negative 1.85. So, when we put into bell shape, so negative 1.85 is around here. And then we need to find the probability of Z less than, which is here. So, the equivalent area for this area, when we change to the positive side, which is we have to take at 1.85 so this area is equals to this area so means that is equivalent to pz greater than 1.85 so when we read from the table because of we cannot read from the table if z is negative and less than so we have to change to the positive side so we will get directly from the table 0 0.0322 And D, Pz greater than and equals to negative 1.85. So, equals to 1 minus property of Z greater than 1.85. So, when we read from the table, so we got 1 minus 0 0.0322. And so, we got the last answer is 0 0.9678. Thank you. We need to find Pz greater than equals to negative 1.85. So we put into the bell shape because we need to find the probability. There is an equal sign. So this is straight line. Negative, negative 1.85 is here. And greater than means that the area in front of that number so this is the area of z greater than equals to negative 1.85 so because we cannot 
find any z which is negative number from the table so we need to take one which is the area under the bell shape or the area under the bell shape minus with this area so this area when we convert into the positive number which is we need to find the equivalent area so which is when we put 1.85 uh, make it positive so this area is same as this area so means that we take one one which is all the area minus with pz greater than 1.85 okay so by reading from the table so we got 1 minus 0 0.0322 which is equals to 0 0.9678 And then E, Z, between 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. So we take Z greater than 0 0.2 minus property of Z greater than 0 0.5. So read from the table directly. So you got 0 0.1122. And E, we need to find P, Z from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. Okay, so by using bell shape. Okay, so we need to find the area under the bell shape from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. We just only estimate the number which is at the positive part. And the area is around here. It's equivalent to the probability. So we take which is equals to Pz greater than 0 0.2. So we take all this area. Minus with the area in front of 0 0.5. So, Pz greater than 0 0.5. So, by reading from the table. So, we will get 0 0.4207 minus 0 0.3085 equals to 0 0.1122. And then F, P, property of Z in the modulus greater than 2.64. So, it's equals to 2 times P, Z greater than 2.64. And then read from the table. So, you got the answer 0 0.0083. Okay, F, we got P modulus Z. Greater than 2.64. Okay, so this is inequalities that have modulus. So we already learned before in sem semester 1. So when there has a modulus and greater than, means that when you open the modulus, there has two values. One is positive, 2.64. And another one is negative, negative Z greater than 2.64 and between these two because of it is greater than so means that it is union so because of it is negative set so we change negative number so we got z less than negative 2.64 so when we put into number line we got negative 2.64 and 2.64 so we got one is positive another one is negative and because of it is union so both so when we put into bell shape uh, it is something will be look like this we got 2.64 here, and negative 2.64 is here, and the area that we need to find is this and here. So, because of this number is equals, but the difference is only one is positive and another one is negative, means that this area is equals. That's why when we want to find this probability, so we take 2 times pz greater than 2.64
2.64 because we need to read the table and only for set positive so when you read from the table so you will get 2 times 0 0.00415 which is equals to 0 0.0083 Then the last question, property of Z in the modulus less than equals to 2 over 3. So when we open the modulus, so we got property of negative 2 over 3. Z is between negative 2 over 3 and 2 over 3. In the last example, G, we have to find P, the modulus Z, less than and equals to 2 over 3. 2 over 3 when we change into decimal point so we got something like 0 0.66666 so we have to um, we take until 2 decimal places so we we get 0 0.67 okay so because of this is modulus when you open the modulus it becomes negative 2 over 3 set in the between and 2 over 3 this is only for when the modulus and the sign is less than only so you will get like this so when you put into the bell shape so we know that both is 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 which is 0 0.67 so and there is equal sign so negative 0 0.67 is here in the middle is 0 so 0 0.67 is here okay and this area is between these two number so we need to find this area so because we cannot find directly from the table so we need to find by taking one which is the area all under the bell shape minus with these two area where we know we should know that this area is equal to this area which is we can just write two times with bz greater than and equals to 0 0.67 okay so by reading from the table so you got 0 0.2514 so calculate we will get 0 0.4972